Hey everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to My Mod Ventures, and this is episode 21. It is now able to drink in the US. Oh yes, and here we go. This is the Hollow Hill, which I died at many times on Thursday's episode. Here we go. Just a bunch of slimes left. You've been obliterated, Hollow Hill. So I actually went pretty quickly. I, um, I haven't recorded in a while. I recorded the previous episodes on Thursday, kind of early evening time. And now... It is Sunday evening, pretty late, and uh, this actually finished on late Friday, or maybe early Saturday morning, very early, like just after midnight on Friday to into Saturday. So, yeah, uh, all of these are... I guess I had an overload here. I don't really pay attention. This must have just happened recently, because uh, this was working fine a minute ago. I've just turned everything off, so... Uh, in here, I've actually got quite a lot, so I'm probably going to have to use this at some point somewhere. Maybe get some capsules to kind of vat this over. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot of saplings from down there. And uh, before we talk about what happened with the vote on Friday and what we will be doing this week. So I had to set up some more barrels and two more chests. As you can see, a bunch of stuff. Ooh, more saplings. Yay. Okay. Ooh, is that glowstone? Okay, I need that. I'm going to take that redstone as well. Um, people may already know why I need that stuff, but that's spoilers. Am I holding more shards? Okay. So we have 51 diamonds from this, so we already had 21 in our inventory from the previous quarry, so this one's definitely better. So we have a stack in eight, so they can come back to the base with us. Uh, we'll bring some of this with us, some of this... I'm going to try to collect as much of the ore as possible um, and bring that with us. We have our bag of biomass here, which I'm feeling I'm going to clear some of it out anyway. I am going to leave this here and come back for it in maybe in like a few weeks or something. I'm not going to have something constantly running or anything like that. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot in here, really. Oh, I have this spare canvas bag that I haven't used yet, uh, so I'm going to put all my ores in there. Uh, okay. Alright, so I'll sort that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I've actually pretty much run out of space in my canvas bag here. A bunch of iron, some good amount of tin, some gold. Put some other stuff in here, so that's all kind of there. So this is all the extra stuff we got. We've got a bunch more marble and a, a really just a huge amount of cobble again. But yeah, that is pretty much this quarry done. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm glad that the hollow hill is finally destroyed, and I don't know why there's so many slimes. They're just huddled in the corners. Weirdos. So, again, I'm just going to leave this all here, um, which kind of sounds like a baddish idea, but I don't need to really do anything with any of this right now. Like, none of this is, is useful to me until a while right now, because I'm setting up, like, a new mod. I'm like... I've actually been looking through all of the mods. Uh, I'm actually going to start travelling back while I talk to you guys about this. Um, so yeah, I've actually been looking through all of the mods that we can actually do. And I, I still want a lot of suggestions from you guys um, in terms of what you might like to see on future votes. If, we do a vote every Friday over on the forum so you guys can actually you know, choose what you want to see next week. And it's kind of narrowed itself down to three, now two actual options. Um, so, if you guys just keep throwing new ideas at me, because I, I checked out what mods there is, and there's like over like 50 or 60 mods, there's so much stuff, and, oh, I saw a place I'm going to visit, I like how the chunk showed me that, but yeah, we, there's so much stuff we haven't even seen yet, and got to, that kind of just checking the list out kind of made me realise that. Now this right here is a little dungeon that is generated by... The mod we're actually going to be kind of focusing on this week. This week, if you guys didn't check out the, the vote, is actually going to be dubbed Magic Week. So this week is all about Thomcraft. And before anyone wonders, I have never used Thomcraft before. And I've had to do a bunch of research to kind of figure out what that's all about. And I don't have any torches. So this isn't going to be fun. Let me go see if I can make some wood real quick. Give me a second. Okay, I just made some torches. I, I managed to make way too many though. I, uh, I I misinterpreted that. Right, so I'm hoping I should be strong enough to beat this thing. Uh, sometimes wisps spawn in places like this, 
Again, wisps will be something we'll talk about later on. Probably in this episode I will talk about some things about Thorncraft, but I don't want to spend too much time here in the Twilight Forest. I want to move on back to the main world where we're going to be setting up our base ready for Thorncraft stuff. But let's just check what this dungeon had. I want to take those with me, but my inventory is a little full. So let's uh, empty it and grab these. I don't really want those, but I'll take the bones. Ow. I just picked up a bone and started hitting me with it. Some skellies. I should have lit up the uh, spawners, but I've kind of fell in here. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a wisp. I'm going to die. Okay, I'm still hiding here, but one of those wisps we just saw over there is what happens. Um, they can start spawning if you're messing around with Thorncraft too much and you put too many bad aspects into the uh, atmosphere. See, I've been learning. I know stuff. Stuff. So, yeah, right, I'm going to run across. Ah. Okay. I'll lit this guy up and I'm going to go try to attack that wisp. Okay. Uh, there we go. And he dropped... Is that one of those things that I wanted? Huh. Let's drop the eggs. Wispy Essence. These are things you can place? No. I think you can mix these or make something very similar to these and put them with Nitor to make flames you can place down. Again, more on that when I get into it. Right. Let's grab some of this. And there's just a bronze pickaxe. It's pretty strange to see. Okay. So, they're a little mini dungeon that I found. I completely forgot what I was talking about outside. But I'll meet you guys back at the main world where we're going to start building all of the good Thorncraft stuff uh, on our, well, our first floor above, so second floor, whatever. The upstairs of our house is going to become a magical place. Okay, so we're back in our world here, our main world here, and uh, I'm just going to drop off some of this stuff that I don't really want right now in this chest down here. And I'll put some torches in here. Okay, so first thing what we're going to do is just head up to our main floor here. This is the, the, the ground floor, whatever you want to call it. And this is where most of our machines are going to be. Now, there's a few things I'm trying to figure out with organizing all of this, how I want to do some things. I know that I want to organize all of these chests a lot better so that I've kind of got my metals in one and stuff like that. But to start off with here, I'm just going to kind of dump a lot of the stuff that I don't have or I don't want to have carried with me. So start with right here, let's dump our diamonds. So we've got a nice collection of diamonds going. Let's check if we've got any rubies. We do. Put the rubies in here. Okay, so we've got pretty much the same amount of diamonds as we have rubies, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, I'm just going to drop... I hate putting more chests down because it just it's crazy. Like I've got one over here with stuff in it. Let's just drop a bunch of this stuff in here. I don't need that right now. Okay. So, now I'm going to grab all of my ores. So, actually, I'm going to do one of the iron and one of the tin. So, first, I'm going to plonk the iron in here. And the... Where's the mass right? Middle one. Tin it in here. Uh... I guess I just threw the tin at it. I was like, have it. Okay. Oh, there's little diamonds? Okay. And we've got our bat box, which is pretty full. MFE, which is doing pretty good. Okay, cool. So, like I was saying earlier, what is happening? Oh, the dogs are all okay. I thought, like, these two had merged into one. Okay. So, what we're going to do is this upper floor here. This place is going to be all set up for magic. So this floor is going to be magic central. It's got a nice view here. Lovely. So the first thing I want to do, I've actually got one of these iron chests. Um, I want to put anything Thorncraft related in here so that I know where it is. So we're going to take these shards here. Um, there's another one. I'm going blind, clearly. Right, so... We don't actually have any fire shards there, which is strange. But everything else, I'm just going to actually get a, one of these ones and just put everything else that I don't really want right now in here. 
Uh, I'm actually going to bring that with me. Put that in there, put that in there. Actually, that wispy essence should be in here. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's just check through everything real quick. Yeah, we are okay. So I'm just going to quickly go empty this digger's backpack. And then I'm going to run over to the other quarry, like our original, original quarry. And grab a bunch of the stuff that I left there because I know I got a lot of shards from that. So I will be back. Okay, so I'm here at the other quarry. And we we didn't have as many as I thought. We had a few uh, thumbcraft. Oh no, we've got quite a few <laughs> thumbcraft shards there. Let's just check on my other boxes here. There's nothing amazing left here other than these electrical engines, which I will probably transfer somewhere. And I think I've got, yeah, I've still got a bunch. Look at all this coal I've still got left in here. I mean, it's crazy how much coal I got from this specific quarry. Uh, I had a lot from that other one that I just had in the Twilight Forest. Um, that hat gave me a lot, and I was reusing a bunch of it to speed up the biomass thing with the Sterling engines, so... It's always good to keep things moving, but I'll store all of that back at the base, and I'll see you guys back there in a moment. Okay, so let me just store these away. And we've got a lot of these water shards, quite a bit of the air shards, and not very many of the fire shards, but, you know... Strange, because these are like the best ones right here. So if we hold shift down... And we hover over, these are the aspects of each of these things. And now everything has this, even one of our backpacks or this potato, everything has an aspect. And an aspect is something that's used in both the creation and research of items within Thomcraft. Okay, so with um, Thomcraft, the world is actually kind of generated by a thing called Aura. And it's actually living around us. As one might say, you know, it's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us, it binds the Minecraft world together. Wait, I think I just went to a galaxy far, far away. Anyway, um, yeah, with Thom Thomcraft you really need uh, kind of this stuff that's around us, and every time you do something you may also have be having, having negative effects on that. But again, it's all kind of difficult to sh show without a thing called the goggles of revealing, I think, and they kind of show everything off, and um, you know, you can kind of monitor it, but that's kind of something that we won't be getting into straight away. But, to start everything off, we're going to need two things. The first, um, I'm going to need with one of these. So we've got some nuggets. We're going to need a stick, which I don't know if I've got any sticks. Do I have any sticks? Okay, I just spent like five minutes running around looking for a stick. Okay. Right. Now I need wood! No. Okay, now we've got a crafting table. I just took the one from the end of the bed. So, okay, put that down there. And stick in the middle. That on the end. I should have made this a project table so I didn't have to do that. And we're just going to plonk an air shard on the end of it. Like that. And there is our wand of the apprentice. And it charges up. And that's actually taking from the... The Viz, well, collects Viz, which is taken from the aura, which, again, arounds us, surrounds us and everything. blah de blah de blah What I said before. Okay. Okay, so I've got everything I need now. And let's see. Yeah, I do. Okay. I planted uh, some more sugar canes down at the cactuses down. Down there, you can't really see them from here. But, uh, yeah, so I should be able to get some more pretty soon. But I have ten now, because I already planted some there, and I've planted some more now. Uh, so let's do this, get some paper, and make another book, and then put the books in the middle, and the wood like that, and there's a bookshelf. And now this is how we really start things in uh, Thomcraft, you right click, and there we go. Ah! And this is going to be our baby for the rest of the week, with the Thomonomicon. It's a mouthful. So, knowledge fragments are a big thing, and I know I've picked up and lost some of these before, um, so it's kind of stupid of me, but yeah, these kind of create research notes and stuff, so I really should really hang on to those at some point. So everything in here, you know, it tells you about great wood, silver wood, shimmer leaves, cinder pearls, and stuff like that. You know, infused ores, which is where we got things from, and you know, it's it's kind of a almost like an encyclopedia for 
the magic that we're going to be doing um, most of the time. And this is all based off kind of the achievements window, which I, I very rarely look at and I always forget where it is. I'm like, where? where it, there it is. I don't think I've, I very rarely look at this. Very rarely. It's it's just there, I think, and I'm pretty sure that the guys over at Mojang spent a long time on this, you know, Notch spent a long time probably on this, and I don't know, even remember when it got added, I just know that they're there to pop up. They just seem really kind of out of it, but this is, seems like a really clever thing to do with. And as you can see, we've got some five flashing symbols here, and these are talking about the paths you can take to start researching. So we've got, these are ones clearly right here. And if we look down here, we got some other stuff. Yeah. So, really, there's a few, a lot of things here. You know, it talks about the aura being this magical field. You know, it's created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates. I can't make the same joke twice in one episode. It talks about the flux, which is when you put too many aspects in the atmosphere, and it can create things like wisps and stuff like that. And here, it's talking about, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's talking about a lot of the different things you can make in uh, Thumbcraft. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the stuff we've got here. Um, so we've got some tables here. So that's how we can do that. And to actually make that, well, there's a, there's a special way to do a lot of things here. Um, you know, we've got the table right here, which is made in a workbench, arcane work table. Uh, magical construct and stuff like that. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we have three tables. Now this is all going to be set up over here. So first, I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put two of these next to each other right here. So first off, if we right-click this, it turns into an arcane workbench here. So as you can see, and it actually uses the the vis or the vis from the wand, which we can only have 50 in this one, to actually craft things of a magical nature. And you can see, you can put that in there, and it's there, you know, it's just sat on top. Okay, so now this right here, oops, I did not mean to do that. I don't know if I can turn that back into anything. No! Okay, so I've just finished collecting the stuff I needed. Luckily I had all of it except for one thing in a chest, so I only had to do a little bit of smelting to do this. Uh, so first off, Let's get some glass bottles. We only need one of these. We need a feather and we need an ink sack and we get some scribing tools. Now if we right click two tables together, we get this little bad boy. Now this is a research table. It looks a little bit complicated, but don't worry, it'll be fine. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is actually start creating something. Uh, you can put, no, oh, paper. There we go. So you put paper in there and you can actually click this button to start you know, researching stuff. But we don't actually have anything to research yet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start going down our research trees here. And I, I kind of want to start at Nitor because there's some stuff in there that I want to get. Um, there's also uh, the goggles I want to get. Did I spell that even right? Goggles of Revealing. It's not going to tell me, is it, how to make them. I want to get those and I actually don't know how yet. It's one of the things I haven't really researched. Um, I put my jetpack on charge, so I may as well. I don't want to put that. I may as well put that on. I'm not just. I'm like a a technic mage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plonk some stuff in here to get this started. So we'll go down the route of redstone first, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna look into the potential, which is the power one, I think. Yeah, and this is machina, machina however you want to say it. So, it's telling us that it's already found something, it's started to make something. Um, it's an unknown thing right now, but it's definitely figured something out. So we click it, and it's definitely now going for the Potentia. I click a couple more times, and... There we go. So that's now finished. So now if we go Coal, do the same thing. I'm hoping it'll pick up on the Ignis. There we go, so it's now telling us this is the one it's going for, and that's that done. And Glowstone can be our last one, because we want the Lux. And... Oh, this one's been a pain. There we go. So all three, and now it's telling us 
glowing flame seem to be fueled by magic itself. Discovery of Nitor. In that little discovery scroll there. So we can have a look at this right here. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. Yes. Nitor. Now right click and research complete. Nitor. So now if we go back to our Thermonomicon, we can see that this is where we've started. So it now tells us this is what we need. Now, we need to make a crucible here, which is actually a fairly easy thing to make. Again, we actually just need a cauldron. For some reason, I don't know how to spell the word cauldron, which seems really weird. How do you spell it? It's an A. How did I? <laughs> I don't know why I was typing call. It's an A-U. Okay. Anyway, I know how to make it. So anyway, um, we're actually going to have this floating one block above, um, like this. Um, and what we're going to do is, I've got these marble brick panel pieces here, and they're just going to sit like this. I'll put this one here in a moment, because we're going to put lava below it. And then we're going to put that there. And that's going to be pretty good. All we have to do is right click like that, and now we have a crucible. And it's pretty empty right now. Um, so we are going to need buckets of water to be put in here. So an infinite source of water nearby isn't a bad idea. Um, so I can go grab that really quick and we'll make one, uh, I don't know, around here somewhere. Okay, so we've made our infinite water source here. So we can just keep grabbing more water if we want. And then if we put that in here, um, we'll actually see it bubbling. After not too long, it will, uh, it will start bubbling. There we go. And we can actually start throwing things into here. Um, to actually make the night ore. So if we go back to our Thermonomicon again, we can see that night ore is four of these, six of these, and four of these. Two redstone, one, two. Two glowstone dust, one, one, two. And then give it a right click, and there is some night ore. And uh, here it is in our inventory. Night ore. Beautiful stuff. I love it. I really like it. This is the stuff I really wanted to make before to place around and stuff. You can break it and pick up Nitor again. I really, really like it. I think it looks really nice. It makes kind of a magic y feel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week. Um, luckily, there's a lot of stuff we can do, and I'll do a bunch of the research off screen so you guys don't have to see all of it. Because it can get a little bit tedious, you know, to go through everything in here and, you know. I've um, I've actually never done this before. This is the first time I've ever done this. And I'm really unsure of how we get the goggles of revealing. Because I really would like to slap those on at some point and uh, make a move with it. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for today. Um, you know, we've got... Uh, the book's pretty cool to read. You can go look through everything. For some reason, I think it's when you've got brightness on... Um, I think that's what's doing it. If you put this down to moody, this room is dark. No, I don't know why. The the text looks really weird for me. Look at this room on moody. I'm surprised there isn't mobs everywhere. Jeez. Maybe I should play on moody. <laughs> I'd have torches everywhere though, wouldn't I? Can you, imagine, can you remember when Minecraft was like this? I'm just so used to playing on bright now. I kind of like this better in some ways, but not at the same time. Everything just looks different. I think back in the day when editing things, you had to put so many brightness layers on just to actually, you know, get things to look right. Oh my, and now it feels too bright, blinded. Well, I'm going to keep moving on with this stuff. Um, there's a few more things I want to make and show you guys, but... Um, for right now, I'm going to let you guys kind of just watch this and enjoy it, and I'll record some more another time when I'm kind of figured out how to get the goggles of revealing and what kind of research tree I need to go down to kind of get there. But I'm really happy I've got night on now. That's really a good place to start. And uh, I'm hoping to set up, like, shelves and lots of different things, maybe later down the tree. Spoilers here for people who haven't played Thomcraft. There are some golems you can get. And those guys are really interesting to actually organize things. They can kind of move things around. And you can actually get them to auto-fill things like that. So you'd keep going here, picking that up, going back here with a bucket and stuff. 
and you can do a lot of other things. They're really cute as well, so, you know, it'd be cool to have a really kind of super Thumbcraft level here and just have it all magic-y stuff everywhere. Because it can kind of get that way towards the end of it, you know, you've got so many different magical devices that are powered by the aura that it's going to be pretty fun to actually go into it. But anyway, I have blabbed enough, so I will see you guys next time. I'll probably upgrade my wand next time, by the way. That's probably one of the next things I will be kind of looking into doing is upgrading my wand. So we'll be doing some research stuff. See, the wand stuff this is telling you how it all starts and stuff like that. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.